Hey folks, Professor Joyce here. I'm going to go over problems from the final of last year in 2013, and I've been asked to do problems 5 and 6 and 13 and 14. So let's go to 5 and 6. Question on perfect competition, and they want to know if the firm operates in a perfectly competitive industry and the price of the good is $30, what's the firm's optimal short run quantity? Well, we know the firm is going to set price is equal to marginal cost if it's out to maximize profits, which is a fairly good assumption, and we're going to work with it here. And we know that price here is $30, right? And we know the marginal cost for this particular firm is 10 plus 2Q. So if P has to equal MC, we set up this equality. And if we solve, we'll get Q is equal to 10 units. So now we know that each firm is going to produce 10 units. But the next question asks us, well, how many firms are in this market? And to get that, we need the market demand curve, right? So we know that price is equal to 40 minus QD, where QD is the market demand, but we do know the price. The price is $30, and so that has to equal to 40 minus QD. So with this information, we can solve for QD, and we get QD is equal to 10. All right, excuse me, 10. But please notice something here. We wrote that where the quantity is given in thousands of units, okay? So now we know this is equal to 10,000 units being produced. We know that each firm in this industry is producing 10 units, so that's going to give us 1,000 firms in this in industry, and that answer is C. All right, so let's go to the next slide. So the next slide is also perfect competition, but now we have a particular firm, and it says, okay, they're producing 500 units. The marginal cost of the 500 units is 17. The firm's average total cost is 12, and they're selling the thing for $20. So what's the profit? Well, we know profit per unit, okay, is equal to price minus ATC. And we know the price in this particular case is $20. We know that ATC is equal to $12. Therefore, profit per unit is equal to $8. So the average profit per unit is equal to our $8. We're selling 500 units, so total profit, the symbol pi, is equal to $8 per unit times the 500 units, and that's going to give us $4,000 in profits, and there we are. Then they ask, well, at this output, what should the firm do? And to get a better sense of that, let's, make, let's go to the next slide and make a drawing here, okay? So our situation looks something like this. We have a price of $20. That's what the price in the market is, okay? You get some marginal cost curve that looks like this, all right? Now, at where you're producing, the marginal cost is equal to $17, all right? So that's, the, that's where you're producing. And at this particular level, you've got some ATC curve that looks something like this. I didn't really draw it great to scale, but at that output level, ATC is equal to $12. So this was our per unit profit, right? That was the $8 difference between the price being sold at this particular quantity. And the question is, what should the firm do? Well, remember, we know the profit maximizing point would happen where price equal to marginal cost. So if the firm is to increase its output somewhat, every time it increases its output and sells more, all right, its costs are a little bit higher, but they're still below price. So price is what they're receiving for every unit they sold. Here's the extra cost of, of making that unit. They're still making extra money. So they should keep going. They should keep producing out to here, where we'll call this QM for QMAX, where price is equal to marginal cost. So the answer to this is the firm should increase their output and hopefully get to see that from the diagram. There we go.